see what NBC News has to say. It's your boy Cat WTV. I'll put the link for this video in the in the description below. What's going on right now? Obviously, you have been hearing for, for hours now from community members reacting to the shooting, trying to get in contact with loved ones at the school. Here's a bit of what some of them have had to say. She was with her one of her friends, and he was two doors down from where it happened. He said he heard some knocking on the door before it even went on to lockdown. He heard banging on a door, which they thought kind of was a locker, and then he heard somebody say, open the effing door, let us in. And then he heard boom, boom, boom. And he said when he went to leave, there was gunpowder, gun shells, and blood everywhere. I heard gunshots, and then my teacher told us to get in the corner. And then we, they were clearing this, I heard like screaming and police officers like, get down, put your hands on your head. My classmate would open the door, um, and but she turned around and said that he had a gun. And then as soon as she said that, um, fire, like he started firing. I thought I was gonna die. It was just like a loud boom as if a locker had slammed. So my teacher thought it was just like some kid acting foolish. So then she took a peek outside and then we heard repeatedly the banging again and that's when we could identify it was a gun. And then the hard lockdown was placed and then we ran to the back of the classroom, turned off the lights. I was shaking, scared, and I didn't have my phone on me and I couldn't communicate with my mom for half an hour. This is earlier I, today. I didn't know what was going to happen because you could hear the gunfires right down the hall. So. I don't know if it was like the last chance I had to talk with her, but luckily I'm here. Um, my daughter called me at work, um, screaming that there was a shooter at Appalachie and begged me to get there as quick as possible. So just to start praying for all the kids, not just my grandson, but all the kids. Thanks for watching. Stay updated. So here's my thing. Shout out to NBC News for this. Um, <clears throat> I think I just read about it. Was that last week or something like that? California, Georgia and California, two different states. But I just have to mention this because I, I, I feel like this is kind of important. <clears throat> In California, they're trying to make some kind of rule uh, where... Students can't have their phones in the classroom. It seems to be a distraction. Obviously, there's like chat GPT and stuff like that that they could be using for tests and this, this, and that. But it's very distracting or very distracting that especially young folks now, they're just in the phone, man. It's crazy. So they're saying in California that they want to make some kind of rule in place to get rid of the phones or keep them out of the classroom. Now, can you imagine if you have a child and you're t and you're taking them to a school or they go to a school, you're paying taxes for them to go to this school, you're living in this area for them to go to this school, <clears throat> um, and this school has uh, no phone policy, which that, that could be good and it could be bad. It, and something like this happens and they're not able to call 911, like how does that work? Right. Like that's what I'm kind of thinking about initially when I like first see this, like, OK, there was this incident. And then you hear this gentleman talk about this young man. He, he said something about not having a phone. Let's see if we can go back to this. I think he specifically said he did not have his phone. I don't I don't know why he didn't have his phone. Probably he left in his locker or they have some kind of rule. But I want to just just play this back. And let's, let's hear what he has to say. It was like a loud boom as if a locker had slammed. So my teacher thought it was just like some kid acting foolish. So then she took a peek outside and then we heard repeatedly the banging again. And that's when we could identify it was a gun. And then the hard lockdown was placed. And then we ran to the back of the classroom, turned off the lights. I was shaking, scared. And I didn't have my phone on me. And I couldn't communicate to, with my mom for a half. See that? No, that's crazy. So the guy, this kid, he didn't have his phone on him for whatever reason. That hasn't been, <laughs> that hasn't been, you know, uh, specified or, or told, but he didn't have his phone on him and he couldn't contact his mom for 30 minutes. So what if nobody in that school or whoever could get communication outside of that school? <clears throat> 
I mean, uh, it's it's insane. Um, but I figure that, that that's on my end. That's what I'm coming up with. I'd love to hear any of these big YouTubers or whoever, like, uh, commentators or news anchors, bring that up. That's something I, that comes from me. If no one has their phone and this situation pops up, who's going to call the police? You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's unfortunate. <clears throat> now, they still don't know who the person is, but they... As in they, the, the local authorities have apprehended the, the individual. <clears throat> Let's check out Fox News emotional. Atlanta. I think they, they have the, the individual in custody. The four uh, students are, what do they we say, obviously... deceased? Oh, man. And there's a few injured. Hearing That's crazy. Emotional, uh... um, it, this is just unfortunate. Who is this individual? What was the whole motive? <clears throat> Here's another thing that I was thinking, too. Isn't this like the second week of school, right? Like, man, our first week or something like that. I don't know how it is over there in Georgia, but it's like the second week of school. These people are shooting folks. You're getting bullied or whatever the I I don't know the whole thing because I'm sure something will come out and say this person was this and that and they treat it like uh, something like that right like on the second week at school if people are already showing up to school with guns and then uh, what was it I had just read something I don't know I'm gonna try to leave all the links for all the stuff that I'm, I'm bringing up here. There was some kind of like warning out to, I don't know, the folks at the school, at the authorities at the school, that there'd be some kind of incident. And there was some, there was like five schools that were being targeted or something. Cra it, it's so, it's crazy. Like, what is going on right now? <clears throat> Those are my thoughts on that. I'm going to try to, uh, give you guys some more detail on the information let's go see what fox 5 atlanta has uh, to say and, and alarming and tragic accounts of what happened there this morning yeah tom so you also been seeing buses like this they've been going in and out hi there you've been seeing Bar barrow county buses going in and out probably the last 30 minutes i've seen them coming here to the high school but there's really a big line up there i believe that's at the middle school uh that is in the back part and that line has grown since uh we've talked last there were just maybe three buses at the last point but now there are more buses to your point about this community everyone knowing each other people on my facebook page seeing that we're covering this said that they grew up here they don't live here anymore but they know the principal they know they have family members who go here they know different people who are impacted directly by this it's one of those places where you know everybody from what i've been told it's a tight-knit community you might see people in the grocery store and even if you move away, you still know everybody that is still here. You can still see a trickle of parents and their families coming out from behind, not being able to see, and you guys will have a better perspective if there's still a large group on that football field, but it doesn't seem as many parents and family members are coming out as we once saw at one point. We've seen more cars coming in and more first responders, and then of course we're getting ready to hopefully hear from the sheriff's office here and other top officials that is set up right on the other side here as well. Again, we have seen a lot of different parents coming here from elementary to middle to daycare. And then, of course, you have the parents here at the high school a lot of as kids. well All that ages. is coming out and That's coming insane, out as well. Man. So we're hearing different things, but we're also talking to students. One lady earlier, we gave her, talked to her live on the air. You heard her. Her name was Camille. She said the gunman was in her classroom. It was her classmate tried to get inside of that classroom, but they would not let him in. She heard about four shots outside of that. Then he said further down, she heard it maybe next door, maybe heard about another couple of gunshots happening there, and then said going to different hallways. We've talked to different students. They said they had to walk out with their hands raised like this with law enforcement, and they said they ran from that back part to that safe space, which was the football field. And many people thought it was a drill. They practiced for this, so they didn't know if it was a drill or if this was something that was for real in this <clears throat> 
incident. And unfortunately, this was there, but they do train for certain things like that. But one person said they just never know. And this is an ambulance that is going there with its siren, Northeast Georgia Medical Center. They are not sure if there is anyone in the back, but he is uh, rushing off down the street there. And then we've also seen parents. Are you guys just now coming from the football field? Are you guys coming from the football field? How long have you guys been out there? How long were you guys out there? Um, do you mind if we just ask just a quick question? So you guys were out there for four hours? Are we on the news? <laughs> we are on the news. This is live. How long have you guys been out there? I mean, I you, you see the guy? Got out, Come on now. school at like 11-ish. Because mm -hmm. it happened during second period. So it was like 10, 30, 10, 20 ish and We've then, seen tents back there. What are the different, are there grief counselors? There, yes, there's grief counselors and they're interrogating students that might have heard or seen something. That's crazy. How are you processing all of this family? This is a lot to go through. How are you processing this? I'm trying to process it. It hasn't clicked yet, um, but I don't wish this on any parent in any country, anywhere. I felt my life flash before my eyes, <clears throat> literally. Did you hear the gunshots at all? Uh, yeah, I was in the hallway, so um, you could hear them like bang on the lockers and stuff. And then my teacher, she unfortunately, she like left the classroom but came back. But she had like fallen, something happened, and she screamed at us. And we were in a science classroom, so there's lab tables. So we all like book it for the lab tables. She closed the door, turns off the lights, and um, you could hear them rattle the door. And then a couple. Them as in the gun gunmen or I police? So well, it had just. Police, I didn't hear police shouting until like five minutes later. That's crazy. Because we heard the sirens first and then like so this a couple dude trying to get in like, this. Please, please, and then um, uh, yeah. you could hear like before the police arrived, it was like, it didn't sound like a gun, but it sounded like I was saying like a trash, like a metal trash can, like going ch -ch -ch. and um, you could hear the kids screaming down my hallway. That's crazy. And then you heard more like of like hitting the lockers and stuff. And then eventually the police came and walking out, you could see like what had happened. And then they oh, took us off the football field. Um, what grade are you in? I'm in 10th grade. Alrighty. Thank you guys so much. I know it has been a very, very long day for you guys. You guys have been listening to people who've been out on the football field for about four hours, Tom, Christine. They're still wow, trying to process crazy. it. I think it's still haven't really sunken in oh. um, what it is, but there are a lot of grateful parents, but they're also thinking about those four. Yo, shout out to Fox 5 Atlanta. I got this uh, I got this news article here we're going to go check out. I'm going to leave the link for that in the description below. Appreciate everyone for being here. We got CNN. I don't want anyone saying that I'm like pulling up Fox News and all these other people. Like, we're just going to pull up CNN. Let's see what we have here. Um, <clears throat> Do I have to like zoom in? Let's see. Let's see if we have to zoom in. No, you guys should be able to see it perfectly. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, let me move that over here. So CNN gets her a little bit of shine. <clears throat> Shout out to CNN for this uh, update here. It says at least four killed in Georgia high school shooting. Is that two students and two students and two teachers were killed? That's crazy, bro. What? That's crazy. I wonder, Georgia, according to Georgia Bureau of Investigation Director Chris Hosey, nine people were hospitalized. That's crazy. So, like, after these people were shot, there's nine other folks. That's crazy. The suspect, a 14-year-old student, what, will be charged with murder and will be handled as an adult as he moves through the criminal justice. Of course, this dude, they got this dude alive. Man. Hopefully, we get some answers here. A high school received a phone call this morning warning there would be shootings at five schools. Be the first. Well, like, this is what I was saying. There was like five other schools or four other schools or five. They're saying five other schools and this. <laughs> so, or, okay, would be the first. So, out of the five schools, they were the first 
So like, was this dude, whoever this kid was, like I'm I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm so good. Was there like five people showing up to five different schools and saying, "Hey, we're gonna do it"? Like, uh, what's going on? What like that's my thought process, or is it just one person saying, "I'm gonna go to"? Man, that's crazy. Shoot, forty uh, fifth school in the forty fifth in two thousand and four. Forty fifth. That's crazy. Tell me, I, like, if this is true, man, I've been. I need to wake up. <laughs> it's it's nothing to laugh about. It's just sad because that's four forty. I'm like, what month are we in? We're in September. I'm like, huh? and I'm like thinking about all the school. I'm like, I've only heard maybe a couple, right? Forty five. That's great. What's going on with the? Uh, Jaden Finch speaks with CNN. Says they're still processing today's strategy. Said he opened fire and killed four people. It's been pretty difficult because, like, a lot happened in kind of a short period of time. Jaden Finch told CNN it was kind of a hard process or hard to process. It was kind of hard to process it. Excuse me. <clears throat> Jaden said he was in a classroom near where the shooting happened and he said his class was having presentations when a lockdown notification appeared on television in his classroom so just like you're just chilling you're you're just watching because i was just in school so like this is something that i can just put together but i wasn't <laughs> i'm not in high school you're in the you're in the middle of i'm in the middle of a classroom and i'm sitting here all these kids are hanging out and we're listening to a presentation you're right, close your eyes, and you're just showing in class. The teacher is, th is sitting there and are taking notes, and you're listening to this kid or this person give their presentation about this project that you guys just worked on. For how, like, I mean, I, I mentioned before, school just started, so like, uh, <laughs> you know, what I mean, you gotta put yourself in this position for folks to understand, like, how how terrifying like this is. And you're, it's like a boring presentation. The school year just started. You're just like, oh, man, we got, I got a whole, like, you know, four months or three months until December. You're, you know, like, you're already, th like, I was a kid before. That's the mentality. So, like, you're chilling in school, and all of a sudden, boom, it's this rah, rah, like, yo, man, these kids, man. I feel so bad for them. Like, that's what I wanted to say, too. I feel so bad for these kids because these folks are just living a normal life. It's like, yo, I got another school year of this mess. <laughs> get me out of here. Get me. Let, when I was in high school, I'm like, yo, get me my freaking, um, <laughs> get me my diplomas. I get the heck out of here. I ain't got time for these presentations. And then meanwhile, this happens, man. It is so unfortunate. I digress and we continue with this article by CNN. It was straight, it was just straight silence, and then you just hear gunshots, and everyone just runs to the corner. Jaden says, Zyriana, that's a interesting name, <clears throat> Finch, recalled how her teacher had left her classroom to get papers, and that's the woman that we just, or the young lady we just heard, right? The printer in it. Or this is somebody else. The, the, wow. Okay. From a printer, from a different room, and then another teacher were supervising the class. She and her classmates were directed to go into a closet while really loud shots rang out, uh, Zariana said. I mean, if they're talking, just step away for this from a second. If that young lady said that they like, uh, are they? Uh, the news guy said that it's like a bunch of drills and stuff like that. I mean, who is coming to the room in the middle of like everyone just doing their stuff? Who's coming to the room? So like, <laughs> yo, 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 this is how my brain works. We got to, we got to go back. How are the drills? Uh, no one is rolling up to the room. Like a drill, a fake drill, like a drill. This isn't happening. We're practicing for a real thing, but it, it, you know, this isn't the real thing. 
I have a hard time believing someone's just coming to the room and saying, coming to the room and and just say, hey, <laughs> it's like, usually it's like you just hear the alarm and then and then the intercom goes. And, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm, I'm just trying to break this down. I haven't been to high school in a long time. So they're obviously doing a lot different things um, than what they were doing back then. So Nicholas Criswell also described the noise of the gunshots. He said that the sound was similar to a person just banging on the door. And these kids are just like young. They don't know what like gunshots, gunshots sound like. So they're just <laughs> there's all these different sounds. It's like there's one sound. No, it's multiple. It sounds like ba door banging. Sounds like trash cans banging. Sounds like a locker slamming. <clears throat> Nicholas said his teachers were a little bit panicked and got them into a corner and fall like a drill. I'm telling you, that's what I'm, I'm. I'm trying to get people to understand this. Your drills ain't nothing close to what just happened today. <laughs> it's nothing to laugh at, but like there, you, you can't even compare that. These people ain't ready for that. Someone's coming to the door. Hey, get down. <laughs> like, that's so different compared to an alarm going off. And everyone's like, class, we have another drill here. Everyone get in line. Like, that's completely different, bro. That's completely different, man. These folks ain't ready. No one's ready for this. But whatever that they're teaching, they need to be a little bit more professional with, the, with some of these drills, man. He called... He recalled hearing, this is just my opinion, uh, scuffling feet and things like that, and then shouting before police evacuated students out of the building. So 34 minutes ago, this is uh, September 4th, 2024. I hope everyone's doing well. We're checking out what's going on with this latest update of this uh, school shooting incident in Georgia. It's your boy kicking it with Timmy B. We continue from CNN's Elise Hammond. It goes, Georgia lawmaker says that they are praying for the families after horrific tragedy at Winder High School. Georgia lawmakers are reacting to the latest school shooting. And this is lawmakers. I'm going to stop this for a second. This is lawmakers. So, like, I could just only imagine what they're about to be saying. Gun rights, blah, blah, blah. I mean, let's just take, uh, before I even, <laughs> uh, we got, once again, doo -doo 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 -doo, we got to back up for a second, because now it just brought up something that, like, I haven't heard yet, which we're probably going to be hearing soon. How did this individual get this weapon? I would love to know this. This is a 14-year-old kid. I don't know the laws in Atlanta. We got to do some homework. We're going to do some homework. We're not going to do it now. Because I want to continue on this, and I'm not trying to <laughs> go off on this whole thing. But how did this individual get that weapon? What are the laws there? We need to go find that out. I, I'm I, <laughs> a 14-year-old kid is pulling up. Like, was it a shoulder fire weapon? Is it a pistol? <laughs> you know, how many rounds did this individual have? Were they wearing armor? What, what, like, what's on this kid's computer? Does the kid have a computer? What are the parents like? There's so many things that we Hopefully, we'll get the answers to. Um, but yeah, the lawmakers. The first thing that came up to my mind was these folks are about to be doing some gun, some some gun control. You know what I mean? Let's continue. A gunman opened fire at the Appalachie High School in Winder, Georgia, on Wednesday, killing four people. Where are we at? We're four thirty-four p.m. We're supposed to be having a Donald Trump. Um, rally here real soon. I'm just just bringing that up here. <clears throat> Georgia Democratic Republican Lucy Macbeth said she is praying for the students and the community, according to the post on X. Too many continue, so excuse me, quote, too many continue to experience the pain of gun violence. No family should have to go through this. She said. <clears throat> Her colleague on Capitol Hill, Georgia Republican Representative Mike Collins, also said, <clears throat> excuse me, he is praying for the victims and their families. He also extended his gratitude to law enforcement for their swift action to secure and get the shooter in custody, according to a post on X. So I'm just going to stop this once again. We're going to stop. 
right here, just for a second. It's funny how they're saying that it was such a fast, swift, but there was folks. Uh, then they say that, like, we need to look at the school because, like, now that I'm thinking about it, one of the individuals from that interview said that it took, like, 30 minutes or something like that uh, for the police to get to that part or to get to their side of the room or to get to their part of the school to get to their door to say, hey, ah, oh, man, this is so – I need more, like – information the whole point of this is if the swift action that's being taken where was this shooter at in the building and how long for like the minutes watts how long they literally just said that there was five different schools that were on a warning uh, I can't do this, man. It's, it's it's too much thinking off of such little information. It is these folks are have to. It's gonna be like a man. I would love to hear the play by play, minute by minute. The schools got the information about some incident that that may be happening. Okay, from that time. The stopwatch starts as soon as that information gets to these authorities at these five different schools. Starts. Okay, this individual, the one that's committing this crime, is going dry or he's he's at the school. Where is he at? Is he on the way to school? Is he pulling up to school? Ordinary day, blah blah blah. Does he have it in the bag? Like, okay. He's acted like a normal person and then boom what time does he go i'm just going crazy and i'm doing x y and z okay the time of each individual body being taken or life being taken what's the timeline on that and then what's the timeline on the individuals hearing all these shots and everyone taking the and the lockdown going into place and then what is the time of these authorities what the school authorities the local authorities what time are they getting to this like that's how i'm breaking it down and that's why it's so difficult for me because i don't want to be like like i'm uh we need more information the resource i continue the resource officers confronted the okay okay sooner after the first reports of the gunfire was were reported reports of gunfire were reported and took the suspect and how did you get this kid so this kid goes i'm gonna go to this and i'm gonna do x y and z and then they're just they're just gonna take me alive what i keep thinking back to the yavalde oh down there in in Texas, such an unfortunate situation. They didn't take that. That dude wasn't going out, or that little kid, he wasn't going out alive. But for some reason, this 14-year-old kid, like, I just, how do you take out four people? <laughs> it hurts my brain. It hurts my heart, for one. Shout out to the prayers to the families of these individuals that had their lives taken today. It's it's very tragic. I'm just trying to... It's crazy. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation... So the FBI took, took the suspect in and cussed at the Georgia Bureau of Investigation. So the FBI have this guy? <laughs> what? Whoa. Huh? So the guy, so this kid goes out and does this, and the FBI has him. He's not in the Georgia State Senator Elena Parent, a Democrat, call for it. See what did I say, man? I, I mean, it's just like <sighs> call for gun control measures in her own post on social media. Quote: As we learn more about what happened one thing is certain lax gun laws fuels the horror of school shootings we owe it to our kids to not have to live like this end quote 
<clears throat> Georgia Speaker of the House John Burns, a Republican, said as a father and a grandfather, I'm devastated by the horrific tragedy that took place today at Appalachia High School. Quote, we have prioritized making significant investments in mental health and school safety funding. And while there will be a time and place for policy discussions, <laughs> okay, our sole focus right now remains on surrounding these students and teachers and families with our love and support, end quote, he said in a statement. What we know so far about the Appalachian High School event for people killed, nine were hospitalized after shooting, <clears throat> suspect gunman, identified 14 year old Lashy shooting. Uh, law enforcement is still investigating the shooting and motive behind it. Bro, County Sheriff Judd Smith warned that he that it could take multiple days to get answers. <clears throat> so, there's no way these kids are going to be going back to school right now. Like, there's an active situation, like an active investigation going on here like there's no way so like the school year just starts and this kid goes and does this he just ruins it like oh man you just break you're just putting yourself in other people's situations or you just see somebody it just takes one like folks from all over have have taught me this very very wise people taught me this it only takes one person man only takes one person to ruin it for everybody it could be 10 people it could be two other people it could be 15 100 a thousand it could be for the rest of the world or it could be for that whole school that whole to the point that whole school and all of those other you know, kids from kindergarten to high school uh, this is like how does the school work is it going to be uh hold up one second folks hello good i was thinking about you i'm in the middle of something can i call you back okay 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 bye oh my god <laughs> and, and you guys heard that too um <laughs> so 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 there was no like bs like on that like I, I that was so random anyway the whole point of this which i kind of lost my whole point um is these oh it takes one person to ruin it for all these kids like the school like the school year just started man and now you're like now these kids have to live with that the whole like not only the whole school year but that's like a a bad mark onto the school the area if you look at the bird's eye view of it it looked like a pretty a pretty decent area um like the schools in the middle there's all these schools and you see all these nice homes it looked like a real nice area it just ruined it and then this kid's over here getting rid of like teachers man that that's not right man that's not right at, like what what did these people do to this? Like, what are they doing here, man? It's crazy. It's so unfortunate, bro. It's it's so it's so unfortunate. Anyway, um, okay. So we got a name here. His name is Colt Great Hosey, Hosey, and he will be charged with murder and will be tried as a, a adult investigators have spoken to the suspected shooter. They have. Okay, and have been in touch with his family. Okay, there is no known connection between the suspected shooter and the victims, according to Smith. But Hosey added to the investigation, added that the investigation is going on <clears throat> or is ongoing. The timeline, the sheriff's department received the first reports of the shooting around 1020 a.m., according to Hosey. Wait, 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 wait. Received the first reports of the shooting. Around four to ten twenty. So this was like six hours ago. That they got the first reports. Whoa, 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 whoa. wait, 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 wait. The okay. This is yes. This important. <laughs> important. Cause that's how my brain works. I need a timeline to can put everything together. Boom, 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 boom. The sheriff's department received the first reports of the shoot. So there are shots fired 
And they are hearing that report of the shots fired at 1020. Not the bodies hit the floor or anything like that. It's not that the, like, uh, um, uh, they were saying that the five different schools or whatever had these reports of some kind of incident about to happen or whatever. No. 1020 a.m., the first reports that this person is in the building actively shooting at people at 1020 a.m. That's six hours from now or six hours ago. Law enforcement arrived shortly after those first calls. Jose. Cold Grant. Jose. Okay. Jose said Jose is the, um, is this individual from, from CNN, their uh, CNN staff. Uh, they're not giving this person's first name. I wonder, I wonder why. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, where were we at? Uh, in addition to two. Okay, so 1020. Hold up. We're getting off getting off track here. 1020 a.m. Law enforcement shortly arrived after that. In addition to two school resource officers were also who were assigned a Okay. The research resource officers confronted the shooters oh man resource officers are these folks immediately what the resource officers confronted the, the shooter who immediately surrendered to these officers and was taken in the so i was about to say do these resource officers have weapons like and these i don't I just have so many questions. These two, I'm too worried. Oh, so we're getting like active updates here. This is crazy. It's getting like active, 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 active updates here. Uh, okay, so this guy, this kid goes on this unfortunate event and then he sees they're not even police officers, they're resource. I, I I just I need to see what these resource officers look are these are these intimidating folks like are these the first people to identify this person and say hey surrender like who else showed up and said hey you need to surrender did the uh, obviously these two these two I don't even want to say obviously but it seems like ah uh, man I I just this is such an unfortunate. Oh, so unfortunate. Like, this kid, did he see the teachers, the two teachers that he took their lives, did he see these two teachers, and these two teachers said, hey, stop what you're doing? He said no, and he took their lives because they didn't have a weapon. Now, okay, so they're the first people to fall, or to actually see this person, to confront him. They fall, so now the next in line are these resource officers? Now, when I see a resource, I see these guys are wearing plain clothes, gut hanging out kind of folks, maybe have a little club. They got a walkie-talkie. They're not carrying a weapon, are they? They're, maybe they're carrying a mace or whatever. That's a resource. Like, I'm thinking of like a... Uh, so, my whole point of this is, is this resource... These resource officers were that... Did this guy run out of like oh <laughs> like uh, man. who is stopping who uh, oh man this is crazy maybe I'm thinking too too much into it but I mean lives are lost huh? like like how far thinking too much into it like uh immediately surrendered and he was taken in a so this dude goes on this and just goes you know what. I guess, I guess you got me, right? I just took out all these people, but I don't want to go up against folks that actually are threats, right? Oh, man, the mindset of this dude is this insane. I don't want to call this say he's a little kid, but they're going to try this dude. They're going to try this kid as an adult, so I have to talk to him like he, like he's a grown man. He decided to pull up like this. I mean... <clears throat> Who immediately surrendered, was taken into custody. Uh, one student, Laila Sayareth, 
said that the suspected shooter left the classroom at the beginning of their Algebra 1 class. Like, bruh, this dude's in class, like, he's like this. I mean, I don't even want to joke about this, but like, he's in the, just like I was stating earlier, there's folks, they're just living a normal day right now. In class, there's a presentation for the one kid, he's, he's, he's listening to some kid, get, oh my God, he's probably giving a boring, boring presentation. And meanwhile, this kid is in another class in the building in, in algebra. He's like, man, this math, math, right? Let me go out. Oh, man, that's not cool, dog. When the suspect returned near the end of the class, what? He knocked to get back in because they another student. Whoa. Whoa. We're getting some details here. Okay. When the suspect returned near the end of the classroom, he knocked to get back in. So the dude he left goes out and commits all this heinous crimes. And then, I guess... Like, I'm a visual person. So, like, this is why I'm getting, like, really upset about this. And I, and I go into detail about it. Because some folks, some folks are visual you know, visual learners and stuff like that. I'm a visual learner. So when you're, when I'm getting this, I'm picturing it as like, it's an actual movie or something like that. This isn't a game, but this is how I picture it. And this is how I'm able to describe it to the folks. And everyone's like, Hey man, you need to be doing more stuff like this. So whatever. The whole point of this is I'm breaking it down to you. I'm painting this picture for you. As I'm re as we're going over this, this is crazy. Another student went to the door while this guy's knocking on her. Hey, can I come back in after doing this heinous crime? That's what it seems like. I, I this is what I'm getting from the from this article, folks. Another student went to the door, but Lia Ayla said they noticed. Oh, the gun and didn't open the door. It's just, what did I say? I didn't even get to this part. I didn't even, I'm like, I'm literally just stuck in this part. I haven't, I haven't even visually brought my fit, like, or, or this part, excuse me. I haven't even visually gotten to this part yet. Or like in my head gotten to this part. I, or, or I've already said it, but I haven't even visually seen it. So this kid goes, Oh, man, that's crazy. She said the shooter went to the classroom next door. So, that's crazy. He goes, you know what? I guess you're not going to let me into the door. I'm going to go to the next classroom. And these folks are going to have, they're going to get the pain of this 14-year-old kid, man. That's crazy. I guess uh, this Lyella... She's a smart chick. She's a smart young lady. Excuse me. Because she could have let this fool... She could have opened the door, and this fool would have just... Mm. So here's the response. The FBI and the ATF were on the scene working with local and state officials. Attorney General... This dude. Get this guy. What a, what a bum. I absolutely detest this dude, Merrick Garland. I mean, they should get this guy out of office immediately. This guy is doing a terrible job as the attorney general for the United States. It's just absolutely disgusting. Like, these folks are getting... When the shooting happened, all schools in the district were placed in lockdown. And police were sent out of an abundance of caution to all district high schools. There were no reports of secondary incidents and scenes law enforcement uh, sources said on CNN. The Appalachie High School received a phone threat earlier this morning warning that they were being that there would be shootings at five schools and the Appalachian would be the first. Multiple law enforcement officials told CNN, schools in the county will be closed for the rest of the week. Like, that's what I'm saying. Rest of the week. While the investigation plays out, there's, like, there's... 
said Dallas Lee Duff, the superintendent in the Borough County School System. I'm really graphic, folks. I don't know if you guys, if folks have, have like noticed this. I'm like real, I'm real graphic. This is on CNN, or this is on TikTok. I hate TikTok with a passion. It's an absolute passion. I was scared I was going to die, to be honest. And when I heard hard lockdown, I knew it was in the drill. He never really talked. He was pretty quiet. He wasn't there most times. This is the, he just didn't come to school. This is the... Oh, my God. She's the one that freaking... Uh, she didn't let that kid in. That's crazy. Or he just would skip class. So he was in class with you, in algebra class. He left. Then he came back. They lock automatically, so you have to be let in to come back into our class. That's insane. They almost let him in, but I'm pretty sure she saw that he had a gun, and so she backed away. And then he turned away and that's when you hear like the first rounds of fire a red alert popped up on the screen and then a light went off and it sort of hit me what was happening out. went to a corner army uh, a little bit panic kid they or whatever themselves. they got us in the corner and then everyone ducks behind the desk and the teacher is like flipping tables and stuff and barricading the door that's and crazy my mom and my dad i was like i love you guys if anything happened after a while the police came in they like kicked down the door that's crazy. Okay. <laughs> Yo, I'm uh, like, I have to, re I have to reiterate this. And so she backed away. Your drills, your little drills are nothing. These little drills are nothing. They're nothing to this. Everyone ducks behind the desk, and the teacher is like flipping tables and stuff and barricading the door and then that's when it texted my mom and my dad I was like, active I shooter drill happened. after a while the police came in they like kicked down the door they're just asking if everyone was okay homie these folks said they there was teachers flipping desk over like this is like <laughs> yo what active dude what active shooter drill is going to get you prepared for that but at least these folks were ready they're flipping over desks are ready to protect these children shout out to these teachers man there's a whole thing where um there's a whole topic of like teachers should have have weapons and so on and so forth i i'm i'm not too sure about that but there needs to be a more police presence at these schools i think that's probably a good way to be able to counteract a lot of these situations a lot of these uh warnings should be taken serious um a lot of these warnings should be taken serious those are my couple things on how i feel like we can solve those issues uh gun control is not going to solve that it's a 14 year old kid at <laughs> gun control. I mean, uh, unless there's more information on how he received a weapon, I mean, he could have he could have got a knife. He could have he could have stole a weapon from someone. They're at gun control. How was how was gun control on a weapon that he uh, unless he bought the weapon? That's the thing. Unless he bought the weapon, I I, I don't know the the gun laws out there, but. This is such an unfortunate situation. There's so many questions uh, left unanswered. We need to figure this out so we could uh, make sure these babies, these kids, these teenagers, these children can show up to school and get their education so they can grow up and be productive individuals in, in society and do great things and pass down on great you know, morals and values and, and, make, a, and make a great world. Uh, you know what I mean? We can't have idiots like this showing up to schools and just thinking that their lives are so tough and so hard that they have to take it out on these innocent folks. Uh, if there's bullying, we need to figure that out. And in that TikTok, they, they, the little, um, the, Kids, like we're saying that the kid was, uh, no one liked him. He sat alone. It's always these kids, man. It's always these folks. It's so unfortunate. We need to get the mental, we need to get the mental of our young folks together because they are the future, ladies and gentlemen. We need to get all of our mentals together, but no one's perfect. You know what I mean? But we need to get the mentals together. We need to be eating right. We need to be getting good information to go into our heads and go into our minds so we can go make better dis better choices and decisions out there because this kid he took it upon himself to wake up today 
He said, bruh, I'm bringing X, Y, and Z to school. It's going to be all normal. I'm going up to my algebra class. And you know what? I'm sick of this. You know what? I'm done with this. I don't know. He's 14. This kid's got four more years left of school. You got four more years left. You don't have to go back to school. He said, you know what? I'm done with school. I'm done with school, and so are these these individuals for the week, and so are these individuals for the rest of their lives because their lives have been taken. It's so unfortunate. Uh, we got to do better. It's your boy kicking it with Timmy B. We just checked out the unfortunate events at this Georgia high school uh, today, September 4th, 2024. I'm going to get you folks more information as we get it.